Hey guys, it's Joy here and welcome to the second episode of Joy's Book Club. I'm so excited to be talking about books today, but before we get into the video, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my book club series because I am going to be doing one every second Wednesday of the month. So make sure you tune in to read books with me. So. This month is Black History Month, so I wanted to give you guys some suggestions for books that you can read and then we're just going to talk about the book I read last month in January. Because for Black History Month, I'm going to be reading a book, but that will be in next month's book club. But I definitely didn't want to seem like I was ignoring anything and definitely give you guys some suggestions for authors and books to read. If you want to join the discussion about our books that we're reading, make sure that you are a member of the squad. Not only will you get access to our private Facebook group, but you also get to enter giveaways and meet a bunch of other awesome fashionistas, naturalistas, people who are building their brand, people who are just like you um, in the group. So, so far we have about 150 members who joined. So I'm so excited for the growth. This launched just over a week ago. So I'm so excited for everyone who's joining. As you can see, I'm repping our merch and I'm excited for everything that's coming up. So before we get into this month's book review, I wanted to just give you Got some suggestions for this month what you can be reading so the first book I'm sure many of you have heard of is called White Teeth by Zadie Smith so this is a fiction book if you guys aren't interested in like nonfiction books but you like fiction books it's a pretty good length it's um, over 400 pages and it is um, written by a British author. <laughs> Just know that this book explores race, it explores gender, and it's a really well-written book. This is her like most popular book. It was a national bestseller, so this is the first book that you might want to consider reading. So I have another book suggestion, which is on my MacBook, and it is Between the World and Me by Tina Hesse Coates. And this book is really amazing. I definitely suggest that you read this one, if anything. Um, especially during Black History Month because it is basically a letter that he, the author wrote to his son about being black in America and being a black man in America. It's very powerful and it's written in present day so a lot of the topics that are talked about are really relevant and they have it has a lot of important conversations that we should be having. And the last suggestion I have for Black History Month is reading something by Maya Angelou. She has so many great books and she's such a great poet, a novelist, and anything you pick up by her you're going to love. So there are, those are my suggestions and I hope you guys pick something great. If you have any suggestions on what we should read during Black History Month, definitely leave a comment below so I can grab one of those and everyone else in the comments can grab one too. So let's get into the book that I read during January and that book is called The Defining Decade. So The Defining Decade, Why Your 20s Matter and How to Make the Most of Them Now is written by Meg J. PhD. And I decided to read this book after seeing it suggested in a Twitter feed about um, and the Twitter, feed, the Twitter feed was under a tweet by Miley Thomas who was saying that you shouldn't waste your 20s away and your 20s is a great time to get yourself established for the rest of your life. So that, that tweet was controversial for some reason because some people were saying that you're still young, you should enjoy your life, blah, blah, blah. In no way was she saying that you have to have your whole life together, but she was saying you should not have a chill mentality going into your 20s because the work you do in your 20s sets you up for your 30s, etc, etc, and you don't want to waste it away. So I picked up this book because someone suggested it, and this book is really, really interesting. At first, I didn't like it reading it, but then I just got really into it. Basically, this woman who wrote the book, she was a psychologist, therapist, and she basically writes summaries of 
her patients of people who are in their 20s who came to her and about issues that they had, which were all really relatable from school, career, relationships, money, and things like that. So she tells their story and then she tells what the advice that she told them and then she tells how their life turned out because of the changes they made. This book gave me a lot of perspective because instead of just someone telling you what to do, it gave real life examples of other people who were around the same age who were going through different things and then it shows how the small changes they made were able to like radically transform their lives. So I wanted to give an example. So in the book she talks about strong and weak ties and she basically says that strong ties are the people that are around you like your family and your friends and basically the people that you go to to hang out with and things like that. So the second thing she talks about is weak ties which are basically the people that you're not super close with but people who could really change like the trajectory of your life and she just says like be aware that you can't spend all your time with the people that you're super close to. You have to put yourself out there because you never know where a new connection is going to lead. And she goes really in depth about that. There's, there's literally like 10 pages on it, but that's basically the idea, which I thought was really powerful. So I just wanted to read you guys some of the chapters so you can get a sense of like everything that is talked about. So she talks about work, which she talks about weak ties, identity capital, and comparison. So comparison on like social media and things like that. Then she talks about relationships and family and things like that. And then she finally talks about the brain and the body. So basically your mindset and thinking and also self-care. So I think this is a great book. It's a pretty quick read. And also it's something that you can just read as you go. So maybe one day you just read one of the specific chapters and then that topic is wrapped up with. So you don't really have to be super urgent on when you finish reading the book. So basically the, this is another like self um, help slash psychology book. And if you're interested in learning more about personality, social networks, identity, and things like that, then I suggest that you get this book. So make sure you check the links below so you can get your hands on a copy of this and also make sure you join the squad so you can be in our Facebook group and chat about the book with me and everyone else in the group. If you missed the first episode of the book club, make sure that you go watch it. I'll have it linked up here and stay tuned for next month. So I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.